Let me just, let me just try. There we go. As we got five red lights underway, and we have five red lights out. Ethan off to a slow start, but Victor Diaz with a strong start up in the P1 already. AJ trying to attack it off one. to a slow start, but Victor Diaz with a strong start up in the P1 already. AJ trying to attack into turn one, but not able to do it. Victor Diaz running a little bit wide with Ethan getting back into massive eight. crash in the middle of the field. Is that that brings out a VSC? Can we see what does anything happen? I, I don't know. I see Jet off to the side of the track there. I can't remember around the middle of the field. It looks like Victor's taken it on the race restart there. No, he hasn't. They're going to go side by side. Ooh. With Ethan. Yeah, I'm not really, not really sure what was going oh. on there, but actually, AJ 14, as he is now side by side with Bonnie going down the main straight, he's going to be able to clear him into turn one. And that is an easy P12. Yeah, those hard compound tires definitely take a little bit to warm up. As there we saw a car spinning around in front of those big lovins. As he has dropped all the way down to P13, he was able to save that car, but I do see fighting going on in front of him. As we'll try to get that to the best of his ability. Gets a much better exit than the Alfa, or the Alfa Romeo car, but the Alfa Romeo not giving it up that easy. He's going down to the inside of turn three as these two are still side of turn three as these two are still side by side. What a fantastic exit there from the Mercedes driver who was able to get that position. And that is P10 for Klinsman and into the points he goes. Corner, Brian might come back at him here. Oh, is Brian going to be able to make a move into this turn, into turn 11? Well, he tries. He's trying to go around the outside of 12, and yes, he does. The hard compound tires. As that is a fantastic move for the Alfa Romeo driver, but now he gives up that DRS advantage that he did have. As he actually spun around the last turn, turn 14, is he going to be able to keep it out of the wall? Yes, he does. I can see fighting there between Kimi Heineken and County for Law. Who is going to be able to come out on top? I believe it is going to be the Williams driver accounting loss in the P9. Kimi Heineken in P8, but the Aston Martin driver not giving up easily. See, he is fighting back strong now, leading into the turn. Ethan got super close to that to AJ. Oh, and there's a little bit of an unfriendly tap, but oh. Kimi's going around. Yeah, yeah. Kimi around. Is Black Mamba is two and a half seconds back from Victor Diaz and the front running crew. But actually, I. Oh, I was going to say, I thought I saw Mr. Noah. No, yeah, it has. He's dropped. Get a little loose, but the he's got to do get mixed up here and there. Klinsman going to the outside line into turn one, counting for loss, doing the best job that he can. It's actually Klinsman almost runs off track, has to take an avoidance. Look at See if the McLaren is going to be able to get the job done on any of the laps. I believe he's just fine with sitting behind him. I'm not sure who spun around. It was actually Buddy Scott. Counting for loss is going off. That's who it was. See at the front there now with AJ. Ooh, try it on a banking corner like that. You're not going to get a good exit speed. AJ certainly hasn't covered off, but Ethan's coming back thick and fast right now after dropping that place. Man qualified on pole. Side by side, the Red Bull. Like this. Oh, keep an eye on AJ's car there. Oh, as Bonnie has retired from the session, that might bring out a safety car. As it does, that's a full safety as car. Victor was well, Ethan. Apologies there. Was able to get out to a decent start on Victor Diaz. As let's hope this safety car doesn't breed more safety cars. AJ going down the inside there of turn one on Black Mamba. More safety cars. AJ going down the inside there of turn one on Black Mamba. He's got the softs, but not able to get the grip out of him. The mediums are looking all right for the Red Bull drivers. The Red Bull driver is around in Black Mamba, and. AJ made contact, AJ all the way down in the needed for the DRS here on lap one. I can see Dangu in, in freeway five going back and forth as Dangu has moved himself up into P8. Sorry, cut you off. Yeah, pile of garbage trying to do his best job of maintaining that podium, or well, not in the podium position, but the car in front of him does have to box again, so it, theoretically he is net P3, he just can't let that Ferrari get too far away. Dangu hey, now, Heineken. As I did see, Freeway 5 has dropped all the way down into P15, going into the pits. But Dangu with a nice around the outside move. A turn 7 on the Williams car allows him to get up into P7. Tires. As he has a phenomenal race so far. He's trying to keep up with the likes of Kamel and Pilot Garbage. Brian Burns, I'm not sure if that's what's all going on here. Brian Burns has spun around AJ. Has spun around and he two. points Kamel getting by a pile of garbage around the outside. Can he hold it through the exit? And the Alpine driver does a phenomenal job of getting by the McLaren who is on the hard compound tires. And now Klinsman to the car behind him 
as Black Mamba, the man that we were just talking about. Sets the fastest lap, but Ethade and Victor Diaz going side by side. One as the Alpine car is taking the lead of this race. And Ethade no longer out in front where he was comfortable just a lap ago. Thought about going down to the inside of turn one, but elected, elected better of it as Klinsman just got by Paulo Garbage down the same straight and into turn one. Joined by Biggles as Black Mamba. The Ferrari has elected to go to the pits now as 15 laps remain in today's race. That is going to allow Kamel Klinsman, Paulo Garbage, Dangwu race. That is a very important thing to take note of as Dangwu is just all over the rear end of the McLaren and he has been that way for several this laps now. Battle behind him or behind Dangwu and Pilo Garbage. Ethe said in the fast lap of the session, is he going to be able to make a move into turn one? Yes, he does as Ethe takes back the lead of this race, but Victor Diaz is not giving up. So as Ethe takes back the lead of this race, but Victor Diaz is not giving up so easily. No, he is not the Alpine driver trying to make a comeback into turn two, but no. Eat day, the Mercedes able to hold on now. Get it out in P1 comfortably. There is a yellow flag in the back. I believe that is Battles going on around the field. Kimi Heineken right on the rear end of the Aston Martin car in front of him with Black Mamba just behind them. Of course, he did have Dengu getting by Pile of Garbage there for P5, but Pile of Garbage is doing a decent job of keeping up. Wow, guys, sometimes that safety car could just throw a spatter in the mix. Yeah, definitely. Makes things a little so more down the main straight. And right. if you're really ballsy enough, I guess turn 11, that would be another one, but well, not Brian, a whole lot of overtaking. Ooh, Brian boxing cool. again. Sorry, I was just wondering. Oh, he's going into the soft tires. Yeah, he's going to like to go is there. He does. Victor Diaz sneaks into the slipstream behind him. Two tents between the Alpine and the Mercedes. As it still shows Kimmy. Mercedes. As it still shows Kimmy. In AI, there's a lot. There's three wide behind him for P4, that is. As Dengu, Black Mamba, Kamel all fighting it out. Klinsman's joining the mix. A pile of garbage. Black Mamba getting a little loose on those medium compound tires. Brian Burns, I believe, dropped all the way down into P13. Or might have been 2.6 now coming out of turn 14. As Black Mamba going down to the inside into turn one, he's not going to be able to get close enough to make a move. Oh, actually, he does with a phenomenal move on the center. Black Mamba up into P3 now. Kimmy into P4. There was a wing that I did see flying. I'm not sure who that is. It might have been Klinsman all the way down to the P10 now. But dang. Next lap. And look at that. Black Mamba's already got a 1.5 second gap, and he's got to get on with it to try to catch those two leading this race. And here we go. Come out. They would and pile of garbage. Oh, barely enough for P5. Yeah, I'm not sure if Dengu might have... Got a little to see what he does. Ite is heading the fast lap at the session of 112.6. As Dangwu has went into the pits now, DRS has been enabled. As I believe, no penalties yet. as of yet. But <coughs> Kimi Heineken trying to hold up the rest of this field. Victor Diaz heading the fast lap of the session. Victor Diaz going down to the inside of turn one. As this Alpine has taken the lead of the race here on lap 30. <laughs> driver, two tens are between him, accounting for loss and Kimi Heineken. Going side by side, pile of garbage to get up into P5 now. As Kimmy has dropped all the way down into P7, but he's fighting it back. Kimmy has dropped all the way down into P7, but he's fighting it back. Trying to get that position back and going around the outside of turn three. Is he going to be able to keep the line on the exit? Not enough speed. Oh. They're side by side. They touch. And into the wall goes accounting for loss of Kimmy Heineken as they both have wing damage now. It's hard to overtake without it. Black Mamba, he's going to be the one that's got a little bit of a target on his back. Yeah, Kimmy's boxing, of course, to get rid of those tires. So is Noah behind him. There he goes. He launches it off. He gets this race back underway. Three tenths of a second between himself and Ethan. And hey, Black Mamba is behind him, trying to protect that inside line. I can see there. Black is behind him, trying to protect that inside line. I can see there. And there's Kamel trying to go around the outside on the soft compound oh, tires. And Black Mamba has spun it. Trying to figure out where he's at as he's all the way down to the trying hard. You can see all the fighting going on behind him. As this could round things out. Kimmy Heineken oh, and a kind of Dang oh, around. No flag for whatever the case may be, but I'm not trying to push that on the Alpine driver. Six tenths now is the difference between pile of garbage and Kamel as he is trying to reel in that podium position. Is he gonna be able to do it? Eat they almost five tenths back from Victor Diaz, but gaining a little bit now. 
coming through those fast series of corners, seven, eight, nine, ten, Game 11. over. Is that Victor's first race win here? But Division 2, it's about to be a race win. One roll on the line. Victor's got to cross the line. Victor's got to win the Zandvoort race here in the Netherlands. Ethan will get that P2. They went two for now. Who's going to go that P3? Carmel will get it from Pile of Garbage. Sorry to cut you off there, Belzy. I was getting oh, I, I was, I was getting ready for you to say a pile of garbage. Getting into that P4 spot, not quite in the podium position, but a great fight for him nonetheless. He did start P2. Enjoyed it. Yeah, fantastic race win. Yeah, fantastic race win there from Victor Diaz taking the top spot of the podium. From Victor Diaz taking the top spot of the podium. Itate in P2. It is an Alpine 1 3 on the podium as Kamel rounds out the podium. Pile of garbage in P4. Big Lovins in P5.